Hello, this is Nate Gable, Farm Business Management Instructor here at Northeast Iowa Community College. Welcome to AGB 330 Farm Business Management. Today I will be uh, giving you an introductory of this course and I'm just showing you a little bit about how the course is organized and what will be expected of you. Obviously you were able to get this course started and, and access the button to get this video established so that's great but to, just as a introduction this course will cover all aspects of farm decision making including record keeping budgeting year-end analysis enterprise analysis and tax management the course goals are to understand the economic principles relevant to making farm business decisions how to evaluate the performance of the farm business and the budgeting process I hope that you have an interest in farm management and understand the importance of these concepts. We will learn the applicable skills and hopefully you will all have some fun along the way. Welcome to the course. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how the course is organized. First thing we're going to do is, uh, all announcements by the way will be here on the main page of, of the course. And from the time to time I will be um, uploading announcements. Um, you also see course updates over here and how to access our help desk. These folks can help you out with any technical difficulty that you may have. And another thing that's really nice is that in the bottom right hand part of our screen you can see due dates for our upcoming assignments. And uh, oh, that obviously is very helpful. I will show you how to access those in other ways too. but. Um, then you will see the content browser here. You will be able to scroll down through all of the units of the course and access information. Easier way to do that, in my opinion, is to go to this row of tabs up here and click content. When we get into content, you will see that, uh, and if I click the table of contents, you will see that all of the information for the course, all of the units are organized here. And if you want to directly ac access a specific unit, you may just simply click the unit from this list on the left hand side of your screen. Let's start off today by looking at the general course information. Here you will find the introduction video that you're watching now. I have it in two separate locations. I have its own tab here and I have a tab within the general course information. I have an introduction. Uh, this tab you can see that if you click on it it will have a, I type out an introduction to the course and then the computer actually reads it to you. Here's the course syllabus. If you click on it you will see that um, I don't know why it's doing this when we click on it. It's, it has these blanks here, but if we download it, I just click the drop down arrow and click download. You will see the syllabus for this course. And of course, that has the start and end dates. It talks about the final, which will be at the end of the course. It has my contact information. Again, my name is Nate Gable. It looks like Gable, but it, it's Gable. This is my office phone number and my email address. My office is located at 109 at the Dairy Center. My office hours are 1 to 3.30 on Mondays and Wednesdays. You can certainly try times outside of those office hours, but those times I will certainly be in my office. You're always welcome to drop me an email, which is probably the best way to get a hold of me, or stop, give me a call, or stop by my office. I will let you read through the course information at your convenience. You will see the course objectives. And then you will see the required materials for the course. Farm Management 8th Edition from K. Edwards and Duffy. It uh, luckily is in available in a loose leaf version, which makes it a lot more cheaper than the, than the hard copy or the hardbound book. And then also the student packet, which is all the assignments for the course. That's available at the bookstore at a small fee also. This 
courses delivered face to face and obviously online. The grading scale is 90, 80, 70, 60 for A, B, C, D. And you can see the number of assignments, quizzes, tests, etc. And the points possible for the corresponding grades. Uh, course calendar I will show you momentarily. I have that typed up for you so that you can act so that you can keep, keep uh, organized for all the due dates for the various assignments in the course. Um, and this goes on and on about course feedback and assessment. At the end of the course you will be asked to do a survey to help me to do a better job of offering this course in the future. When we get to that point in the course I will review that with you. Uh, class attendance is very important obviously this is not a face-to-face -face class it's an online class so what is what is attendance in an online class that means accessing the information and making sure that you are staying up to date with the assignments and required activities unlike a face-to-face -face course this online course is is a hundred percent on you to make sure that you are keeping up with all activities I'm not there in your I'm not there with you physically to um, get after you if you're not uh, participating or or if you're not getting things done on time so make sure make sure that you are really keeping keeping track of, of assignments and keeping up to date on all expected activities make sure you do your own work please don't upload an assignment completed by somebody else uh, we have computer programs here that help me to identify if you've uploaded another person's assignment it's very actually pretty simple for me to identify that so do your own work you don't learn from copying you're responsible for your missed assignments all the assignments are, pay, are posted in Brightspace all the assignments are available in your course packet also if you're for some reason if you did miss an assignment if there was a family emergency something like this please feel free please get a hold of me and try to make it right try to work with you obviously to navigate that situation anyway you can see all due dates etc uh, that's the syllabus please feel read the feel free to read through that please do feel please do read through that if you have any questions give me a call the, the course schedule is right here this is the official course schedule you can download that print it off again download it right here just go file print print this off this is a great way to keep track of the assignments when you complete assignment just put a check or scratch out the assignment you know it's done Okay, folks, always remember this. Every Wednesday, your message board assignment is due. That's always on Wednesdays. Your turn-in assignments, or worksheets, I call those, are due on Thursdays. And then quizzes will be every Friday. So... when I'll show you another place to access due dates but just remember that and but like I said you can always work ahead too it would be very beneficial to you to print off this sheet scratch off the assignments as you complete those and upload those and the whole semester is planned for you obviously when you look over here you see the unit number, the unit name, and the book chapters that are covered in that corresponding unit. So it is, uh, I put a lot of time and effort into getting this well, completed so that you can remain as organized as possible. So that was the course information tab. The course guide is also available for you folks. Course guide just simply and I have all this on the syllabus also anyway, but this gives you the units of instruction and individual objectives, etc. So, 
let's go ahead and take a look at unit one just so you get an idea of the material that's ex the materials that's available to you and the assignments that are expected of you you will see that I have videos for every chapter or every unit in our t in our um, course they will be very helpful to you and the PowerPoints are available to you also these videos many of those are I have two types of videos some of those are taken or I, I made as I was, as I was teaching my face-to-face -face class some students really like that they can hear student questions and see student interaction in the course and then I have some courses just like, just like the one you're watching right now in which I am speaking to you individually um, in a microphone and so whichever works best for you go ahead and feel free to participate or use so that's videos and then PowerPoints like I said they're available to you also um, like I said earlier every Wednesday you have a message board assignment due one place that you can now this week the first week of class is a short week so I have the message board assignment due on Friday night but what you do is obviously you can see in content that that the question is posed to you this week for example it's please introduce yourself to the rest of the class tell us where you're from why you're interested in farm management and your experience with farming and farm management you would click on that every week before Wednesday 11:30 p.m. click on the assignment you can see that I already have a I made a post earlier but you see the question here you'll start a new thread you can put a subject in here if you wish just made a post and then so that's five points you reply to another student's post to receive right here's you to reply to another thread you receive five points for your initial post and five points for replying to another student's post so each message board assignment is worth a total of 10 points five points for your initial post five points for your reply to another student post hopefully that all makes sense in the message board assignments another way to as I said it's nice to stay within the unit click on the message board assignment another way to do that is to click the discussions tab up here you will see that all of the message board assignments are listed you can click and it has the due dates uh, excuse me does not have the due dates but you can access all of those message board assignments from the discussions tab up here also okay let's go back to contents so that was the message board assignments now you see the individual assignments again it has the due dates listed and time 11 30 p.m. you click the assignment open it these are the same assignments that you received in the course packet by the way you can type your assignments after you download the assignment this is a pretty simple assignment about the decision making process you can um, type answers here I'm just going to type some letters it really helps me by the way if you bold and put in red your answers makes it very easy for me or excuse me easier to locate your answer and read your answer as I'm grading papers so I certainly understand or appreciate it when you um, label your or color your your answers red but what you'll do after you save it to your computer is that you will then upload it like this you click the upload button you upload your assignment in uh, Brightspace
So that are the Dropbox assignments. I want to show you something else while I'm on the topic of assignments or Dropbox assignments is that you will see later in the class that I have all the assignments organized by the unit number and then the assignment number within the unit. For example, here is unit 3. I have assignment 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 example, or 3.3, etc. Now, having said that, when we get into more mathematical computations, I also have available for you example assignments. And example assignments are not due, but they are there for you to use to prepare to complete the assignments. And I will have videos that go through, and I have the keys also for all the example assignments here. The, this one's example this is an example of a balance sheet, and it's completed. I will have that available to you, and I will have videos going over all the example assignments. Now remember, example assignments are not due. Do not upload those to me. They are not graded. They are there for your use. So, for example, right here, I have the 3.1 example balance sheet set up, and then I have assignment 3.1. It's just like the example assignment. It's just like the example assignment. It's except it does not say example 3.1. It says worksheet 3.1. So it's just like the example assignment, but with different numbers. So you can go ahead and complete those um, using those example assignments as a guide to help you learn the concepts. So. One way, again, to find those example assignments and the drop and other assignments for the Dropbox is in content. Has the due date right there. Another way to access those assignments is in the Dropbox assignments tab right here. Here are all of those assignments for the entire class. Due dates are all are posted right there again you see the examples remember what I said they are not due there's no due date there's no score there's no score available it's not due but that's another place to locate examples okay that was in the Dropbox assignment tab now if we go back to content that's Dropbox assignments folks if we go back to content well, let's just go back to unit one decision making you will see I again I had the message board assignment that's due every Wednesday the regular assignments or turn in assignments are due on Thursdays then every Friday you will have quizzes for example the unit one chapter one and two quiz I will have the name of the unit covered in the quiz and the book chapters Quizzes are pretty simple. You can access those right here in content. Click on the quiz. Um, you can go ahead and there will be a button here where you, I'm in the instructor role, but you have a button here where it says start quiz. And you can go ahead and take that quiz. Here's another way to access the quizzes though is up here in the tab mark quizzes. Oh, it's not available yet because the course has not started. But um, again, you'll just click on the name on the start here, and the quiz will start. You, they're all multiple choice. Click on the answers and hit submit. Again, that was the quizzes. Quizzes are, can be found in content. Right here is Unit 3, Chapter 4 quiz. It has the due date right there for you. Or you can go up here to the quizzes tab, and all the quizzes for the course are available to you. You have two opportunities to take a quiz. 
the top score is the quiz score that is retained. Now, speaking of grades, you can find all of your grades here under the grades tab. You'll be able to see all of your scores as they are compiled throughout the semester. So, pretty simple. Read through the content that's available every week. Watch the videos that are available to you. Complete the message board assignment on Wednesday. Complete the homework assignments for Thursday. Complete the quizzes that are due every Friday. Again, if you have any questions over this or, or the, the organization of the course or any assignments along the way, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or stop by my office. And I will always do my very best to answer any and all of your questions. Again, my name is Nate Gable. I'm the farm management instructor here at Northeast Iowa Community College. And welcome to AGB 330 Farm Business Management. I hope that you enjoy the course as much as I do and that you find it beneficial and worth your time and effort. Have a great day and good luck with the course.